Hey everybody, this is Nick Stewart, and this is another free site review. Today we're going to be looking at LaidTrades.com. The keywords that they're targeting are Forex, Forex Trading, and Forex Market. So let's go take a look at the website. Um, to begin with, uh, as we recall, their keywords were uh, things related to Forex, uh, like Forex Trading, Forex Market. And uh, the very first thing I look at is... Uh, their domain is LaidTrades.com, which uh, you know might be the name of the company. I don't really know, but I don't see their target keywords in there specifically for X. And so I would consider uh, getting the domain, or I, I you know once your website's established, it's kind of hard to do this. But if it wasn't too hard, getting a different domain with your target keywords because that's going to help a lot. Um, helping you to rank high in the search engines. Um, taking a look at their title tag, we have Forex Analysis, Forex Forecast, Forex Market, Forex Picks, and on and on and on. Um, I would probably pick uh, like these three target keywords and put those in your uh, title tag and probably get rid of everything else. I, I think it's a little bit too cluttered. Um, specifically having the word laid, laid trades in your title tag is uh, probably not necessary and it's probably taking up space where you don't need to I did a quick search on Google for laid trades and uh, because you are you have that exact domain name you're gonna rank number one in the search engines most likely for that particular phrase so um, I don't think you need it uh, taking up valuable real estate in your title tag um, Moving on, I, I don't see um, a big sort of title that says, hey, this is like the name of the website that you're at. Um, for example, if we go to my uh, website, at the top of every page it has Nick's Traffic Tricks. And so you always know what website you're at. Um, whereas here, uh, I don't know what website I'm at. I mean, it's just, we've got uh, you know a little bit of no navigation here, home, about blah 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 and then more navigation down here but usually you have some sort of um, title or big title and maybe that's done on purpose because I can see you have this ad by Google and so maybe you're anticipating people clicking on that so I, I could see why you might possibly do that um, so moving on uh, having a title tag in your h1 would be good um, now I see uh, I clicked on one of your blog posts, um, bullishness seen in the Aussie, and uh, that is an H2, so good job there. You want to have your blog post titles in H2 tags if possible. Um, so overall, your search engine optimization is, is decent. Um, ideally, you would have your keywords in your URL and maybe clean up your title tag a little bit. I think it's a little too busy. Um, but, it, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, jumping into design and layout, um, uh, <laughs> one thing that jumps out at me is the number of ads. Um, I'm going to switch to this particular uh, blog post. And so we have ads right here. We have ads right here. We have ads over here. And then if we scroll down, um, I'm guessing the Morningstar is going to be is an advertisement. So it's it's a little bit heavy on the advertisement. Um, and maybe that works for you. Maybe you're getting enough traffic and you're happy with the click-through rates that you're getting. But um, I think people are less likely to click on um, your, your RSS and subscribe to you when you have that many advertisements. I might go a little bit easy on some of the ads, but who knows? Maybe it works for you. Um, let's see. Moving, uh, looking at uh, the content that you have, uh, looks like you post new stuff on you know a regular basis. Um, I can see a post here, December 9th, December 8th, December 7th, December 10th. So you, it looks like you're updating stuff on a regular basis. Um, and uh, actually, this particular post, quantitative, easy, and explained. I watched this video. I work with uh, 4x for my day job. And uh, that's a fantastic video. So uh, knowing that you posted that there makes me more interested in checking out your website. Um, but that's kind of an aside. Um, 
So overall, your your look and feel is is decent. It's a little bit whitewashed, um, and and I have trouble with that too. Um, I've got lots of white, and then you can see I've got these little dark borders um, right here on the side, and then over here on the side, and so maybe maybe whitewash it a little bit less. I don't know. I don't want to be too critical because I'm a terrible designer, um, but that's one thought I had. Um, and uh, let's move into social media integration. Uh, one thing that really jumped out at me was that you had uh, your find us, you know, find us on Facebook, and that you had 1,100 people um, give you a thumbs up, a like for laid trades. So it looks like you've been uh, working the f the Facebook social plugin uh, for a little bit, and uh, that's definitely a good thing. So whenever you post something new on your blog. Um, Make sure you go to your Facebook fan of the fan page and post something on the wall of that, and that'll help tell all of these people, these 1,100 people, that you've uh, you posted something new, and that'll send you traffic. Um, I, I've been doing that, and it's it's been pretty good. So, and and it's very possible you're already doing that. Um, and then you have uh, you know follow me on Twitter uh, badge, which which is good. But it's not really apparent um, when I when I first come to your website. I don't see hardly anything about Twitter unless I go all the way down here to the lower right hand corner. And so consider having a, a you know a big badge. Um, you can see I've got that. I've got one for RSS. I've got one for Twitter. And I've got one linking to my Facebook fan page. So I'd consider doing something like that. Um, with that said. Um, you know, you've got your subscribe by email, you've got your RSS feed, so it looks like you've got the social media stuff dialed in pretty well. I can also see, um, let's go, actually, let's go take a look at one of your blog posts. Um, you've got the, you know, share on Facebook, you've got the retweet badge, so, um, you know, that, that all looks really good. And then you've got the related posts, so when someone finishes uh, reading this particular post, they can go see... Um, things that are related, so you know I, that's that's definitely a good thing. So overall, I th I think your website actually is one of the, the better ones I've looked at, and it's got uh, content that's updated on a regular basis, and it looks like based on your uh, Facebook, um, how many people have given you a thumbs up on Facebook, it looks like you've actually built a community. So good job there. The only thing I would re really recommend is just go a little bit easy on the advertising, but like I said, maybe it works for you, so uh, you know, it's my advice and you, you're feel, feel free to take it or leave it. Um, anyway, that concludes this uh, website review. Um, if you want your own free website review, go to my website, Nick's Traffic Tricks, and click on free site review.